So now we have a sh much shorter video for you, maybe you know, a little over 10 minutes, so I'm gonna try to keep it for you. This can be an add-on. We're gonna work biceps, triceps, and some cardio. So you can add this on to any of the previous videos that you've seen. Um, you can do it multiple times, maybe you know twice if you need to. You can also add it on to another activity that you've done in your day, okay? So th that's totally fine. Um, I'm just using water bottles again, just to show you an example of what you can use if you don't have dumbbells at home. Soup cans, spaghetti cans, um, sauce, dips, you know, whatever you have, just make sure they both weigh the same though. That's important. And when you're using a unilateral exercise, that just means there's one weight in each hand. Um, you want to make sure that you match the weight to what's best for your weaker, tighter side or your weakest, least dominant side, okay? So don't, just because this side's weaker and this side's stronger, it doesn't mean I want to put a heavier weight in this side, okay? So always match it to what the weak guy can do. Allow him to catch up, oops, so you can always have that balance, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you bicep curl first as a hammer curl, okay? So I'm going to have soft knees, feet about shoulder width distance apart, nice thin tummy. We're going to tuck the tail. So I'll just show you from the side. You don't want to be like this, and you don't want to be like this. So let's have really good posture, shoulders back and down, nice thin tummy, and now I'm ready to go, okay? Here we go. So we're just going to curl up and down. That's it. Bring it up. And you can hold, if you have dumbbells, you can hold them just like they're bottles. And then that just means palms in. When you do a hammer curl, bicep curl, I'm going to give you something to have a little fun with it, though. See if you can bring one knee up and then bring it back down. If you're doing it at home, get on a nice hard surface floor, and this will help with some balance, too, okay? As I bring my right leg up in the air during the curl, I'm trying to focus on balancing on my left leg, okay? Just, it just, I'm just adding a little bit of spice to your bicep curl, okay? But you can keep your, your feet down on the ground if you prefer, okay? That's it, beautiful job. Got 10 seconds to go on this hammer curl. That's it, notice how I'm keeping my shoulder blades back and down, okay? I'm not moving from the elbow up. I'm trying to keep that locked, okay? Beautiful, how do you feel on that guy? You feel okay? So now we're gonna turn it. shake those arms out a little bit, change the grip, palms up, okay? Palms up and down, okay? And you can do the same thing, balance, and then back down. So I'm balancing on my right leg now so that I can bring my other leg up. It adds just a little bit of challenge to this. The only thing is, guys, with this, when you add the knee lift, just make sure it doesn't um, compromise your form and technique of your bicep work, okay? So if you lift your leg up and it wrecks your form on your bicep curl, don't do the leg lift, okay? Just stay stationary like this and just focus on really good posture and a really good bicep curl, okay? Add the leg lifts if you want, okay? We got 10 more seconds on these. Take it up and down. You're doing great, guys. Up and down. You have five seconds. Up and down, always with control. And up and rest. Beautiful job, feel okay? Before we go to the triceps, we're gonna add a little cardio. Okay, so we're going to jog in place. Okay, jog in place. Nice high knees. Let me get my thing. What am I giving you after this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so run in place, and it's opposite arm, opposite leg. Okay, I'm keeping my elbows bent. That's it. So it's kind of like my hand is going from my cheek to my hip. Cheek to my hip. That's it. You got it. Now we're going to change it to power step. My foot's on the floor in front of me or on the mat. Switch, 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 switch. Same thing, runner's arms. Here we go. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Okay, guys, we're moving on to triceps, okay? First thing, hip hinge, bend your knees, butt out, thin tummy, okay? So you have to have thin tummy, flat back. That posture has to go all the way up to between your shoulder blades, okay? Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Hold your weights or your bottles. Press out and in. Take it out, in. Thin tummy, hip hinge pulls your butt out behind you a little bit, out, in. Make sure you're not doing it like this, okay? Really lengthen that spine. Out, in. 
Press return. Press pause and return. Press and pause, return. Out, in. Make sure your chest is open. Bring it back. Out, in, out, in. We get about 12 seconds. Press, in. Press, good. Press, press. Almost there, guys. Out, in. Very nice. Feel okay? So this exercise, guys, is, so if you were here and you brought your arms back like this, we could do this standing, but I think I'm going to show you something where you can lay down, okay? And when you lay down, I hope you can see, okay? You're going to bring your feet on the ground and you're going to imprint your spine, okay? Thin tummy, flat tummy, head stays down. Hold your weights right up above your, kind of like your forehead. Without moving your shoulders, you're going to bend at the elbow. It's a skull crusher. Come right down towards your ears. Press it all the way back up. Down, two, three. Press up. Down, two, three. And press. Down, two, three. Press. Down, two, three. Press. Okay? That's it. Make sure you stabilize. Keep your spine imprinted. Okay? Spine imprinted so you want to suck your belly button down into the mat. Keep your abs working even isometrically, okay? That just means there's no movement. You're contracting them on their own. Up, down, two, three. And you've got two more reps. Down, two, three. Press up. One more. Down, two, three. Press up. Okay, guys. So I'm going to take you back up. Oops. Here we go. Let's jog in place. Here we go. Bring those knees up. Come on. That's it. Come on. Come on. Keep going. Ten seconds. Okay. Boom. 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 Step. Ten seconds. Good. How do you feel? Okay, second set. Here we go. Buys. Okay, guys. So on the buys, palms up first, shoulders back and down. Balance on one leg, abduct, and come down. So it's a bicep curl, hip abduction, if you're using light weight. If you're using heavy weight, just focus on the bicep curls only. Don't worry about the lower body. Okay, heavy weight, regular by. Pause, down, two, three. Take it all the way up, down, two, three. Pause, two, three, pause, down, two, three. Again, you can add hip abduction, down, two, three, but you don't have to, okay? Or you can stand on one leg and just balance, up, down, two, three, press it up, down, two, three. But again, if you're using heavy weight, just focus on the buys, two, three, Looking good, I think. Two, three, bring it up. That's it. You look great, guys. You look great. Up, down, two, three. Up, down, two, three. Almost there. Lift, down, two, three. Up, down, two, and three. And then I'm going to alternate, alternate, lift, and lift, and lift, lift. That's it. So these are unilateral, holding one type of weight, okay? Anything you have in each hand. That's it, we got five more seconds. Four, and three, and two, and one, and done on these. Okay, we're gonna 
gonna put these down. I'm gonna open your legs all the way up. Bring it down. So it's almost like you're in like almost like a football stance. Reach all the way up, then down. All the way up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice guys. Okay. Last one. Kickbacks right here. Here we go. Hip hinge, thin tummy, flat back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, press out and in. That's it, press out. Make sure your back is flat all the way from your butt, the tailbone, all the way up in between your shoulder blades. Out, just make sure you don't do this, okay? Stick that butt out, nice thin tummy. In, press it all the way out. Squeeze, in, slow. Out, squeeze, make sure you not swing. Try not to swing the weights, really kind of focus on the resistance, pushing against gravity. Beautiful. Bring it out, pause, and down. Let's see, we got 10 seconds. That's it. Beautiful. 10 more squat jumps and you're done after this. Take it out, squeeze, and bring it out, and bring it out, and out, in, and last one, press, in, bring it down, okay, 10 squat jumps, take it down, one, 